So here I am on the beautiful Appalachian Trail in Putnam Valley, and I'm going on a texture hunt. A texture is how something feels, and I'm looking for real textures, so things I can actually touch and feel, like rough, smooth, bumpy, uh, things like that. So I'm gonna touch a whole bunch of things in the woods. What you should do if you wanna go on a texture hunt is bring a grown-up with you, because some things in the woods you probably shouldn't touch, just make sure you ask your grown-up first. Okay, here we go. These leaves, I think this is mountain laurel, these are really smooth. You can feel the texture of the vein on the back though. This moss is kind of fluffy, less fluffy than I would think. Tree bark comes in all different textures. some wild textures on this dead tree. Whoa, look at this one. It's like scaly. Here's a blaze telling us to turn left. Oh, how nice. These new leaves are really soft. This leaf feels really delicate, almost like lace, since it's been on the forest floor all winter. Isn't it weird to see me wearing shoes? This is kind of furry. It looks really spiky though, like it would hurt, but it's pretty soft. Look at this giant mushroom! Ugh. Don't fall in. Don't fall in. <sighs> this green stuff is called lichen. This is kind of a flaky texture. This is a great mix of textures with some kind of uh, ridged wood in here that's dead and then some fluffy moss, kind of soft. Awesome. Oh my goodness, texture treasure! Wow. This is all done by bugs. Now that you've gone on your texture hunt, you gotta think of what you could do with all these textures. You could do some rubbings from some of the tree bark or the leaves or rocks that you find, or you could even bring some of these materials inside to make artwork, collages, sculptures, who knows. Or you could always just have fun going outside and hunting for those textures. Spring. Spring.